2019 breakout wide receiver candidates and Niners fans are going to like this list because their second round draft pick is on it. Debo Samuel, he is on my list and here's why. How do you replace a Pierre Garçon? You're going to get somebody that's built and can play just like him. Debo Samuel is that guy. We understand that George Kittle is the number one threat for the 49ers on offense. We get that. But there's no solidified number one receiver on the outside. Debo Samuels, he's that guy. He can go out there and make it happen. He told us on this show that he was the most versatile wide receiver Ooh. in the draft. So we'll see how that plays out there in San Francisco. Another rookie on your breakout list, yes. the one that your team picked up <laughs> in the second round, Harris Campbell. What do you like about him? I know people are going to say I'm a homer here, but you know what? I'm actually not. A lot of people are going to overlook him. There's already T.Y. Hilton there. Devin Funches, they picked him up in free agency, right? He's the sleeper. He's going to slide underneath the radar. He fits perfect in this offense. He's a speedster. He can play a lot of slot uh, receiver. He also can help in special teams. That's the key right there, right? This guy will have a breakout year. Paris Campbell, remember that name. Okay, Paris Campbell, check. Uh, <laughs> moving on from the rookies now, you have a, a Steelers sophomore on this list, yep. James Washington. Why? James Washington, he's already had one year in the system, so he, now he can finally relax and play fast. He Which got we already another, talked exactly. about is important. He's got another year under his belt with Big Ben in the offseason, getting on the same page with him, right? There's no more A-B, so there's going to be a lot of action for him. A lot of people are going to double Juju Smith-Schuster. So that once again, more opportunities for James Washington. I expect him to take a big jump in his second year. James Washington, another name for you to remember. Okay, James Washington, the next guy's Kenny Galladay from the Lions, who already had a 1,000-yard season yeah. last year. What does a breakout year look like for him? Well, you just said it. He had a 1,000 year, yards last year, right? But who knew? Nobody even knew who Kenny Galladay was and how well he Unless played. Unless they had him in fantasy. Unless they had him in fantasy, which I didn't, right? So I'm here to tell you this. He's going to have an even better year this year because now offensive coordinator, uh, Darren Bevel understands what he can do as an offensive player, as a number one threat on this, uh, on, this, on this Detroit Lions football team. I expect him to go out and not only have 1,000 yards, but I'm expecting him to have at least 1,200 to 1,300 yards this year.